All right, where is this? Rick Osborne Jr. with Geology Rocks. We are at Canal Fulton, and this is uh, the museum they have here. And look at, they have some ca canal horses that would pull these boats up and down the Ohio Erie Canal. So it's pretty neat. It's a little museum called the St. Helena Museum. And these horses basically would would hook up to the boats and they would push them down this canal. So we're at Canal Fulton on the last leg of the Akron section of the Buckeye Trail. It's about one o'clock. I got to do about seven more miles and we'll call it a day. But in the meanwhile, I was able to get a yummy, yummy ice cream cone and uh, heading towards Crystal Springs right now on the Buckeye Trail. All right, we are along the Tuscaroras River on the Akron section of the Buckeye Trail. We got about another mile and a half to finish off the Akron section. It's pretty cool. And uh, we are getting to be uh, today approximately, I'm gonna say about 16 miles so far. And uh, very cool. So watching somebody canoe next to me, seen a lot of bikers coming back and forth. Saw one runner, said she's running to Cincinnati. I'm like, oh my gosh. Again, I'm trying to do 20 miles today. And I think she said she does 40 miles in a day. Wow. Must have some really nice feet. But anyway. It is Saturday, it's about 2.30. We're on the Buckeye Trail. Stopped and had lunch. Got an Uber. Got a little break. About an hour. Got a nice yummy ice cream cone. And uh, very peaceful out here walking along the trail. So, um, just wanna have a shout out to everybody. And, uh, I'll be uh, getting to Crystal Springs, and then I'm gonna make a decision. I'm gonna see how far it is to the truck. See how my feet are doing. But all is good in the neighborhood. And here we go on the Buckeye Trail. finished up the Akron section of the Buckeye Trail which terminates here at Crystal Springs and what's neat about this location is you either can go that way which will continue on the Maslin Trail which eventually takes you into more southern Ohio through Maslin etc and down through the heart of Ohio, or you go this way, and this continues up the Maslin section on the little loop. Of course, I'm still working on the little loop, but I just completed, there's the Buckeye Trail sign. And uh, this is High Mill, there's a, uh, cool looking uh, restaurant called the Towpath Cabin. Look at a good watering hole. And there is a really cool old structure, which I have to probably go check out since I'm right here. Intersection of Erie Avenue and High Mill Avenue.
you can see some really neat stuff. You know, along the Ohio Erie Canal. This looks like a very cool old, maybe a mill, perhaps a Smith mill. And they were, I'm sure they were utilizing the water at in the day. So very neat. Looks like they restored it in a great fashion. And uh, I'm gonna take a little rest and see how many more miles we gotta go to get to the truck. But we are, again, just finished the Akron section of the Buckeye Trail. And we're heading up to the Maslin, the uh, end of the Maslin, where I parked my truck, slept there last night. So let's see what happens. Mm -hmm.